Well, the game got pushed back at least twice, got underway at about 9.43, so plenty of time for that anticipation and excitement to build up for TSU fans as they came here to Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth to watch this game. We spoke to some of those fans who brought the energy and the school spirit. They tell us they're hopeful to be this year's Cinderella T. We're going to top them down. We, I texted him this morning and said, hey, we, we shocking the world today. <laughs> the Tiger faithful came out in numbers. Who you rooting for? T. Stephen Johnson, a Houston native in 1984, TSU grad, was optimistic about the outcome. We got some talent, we got some experience, so I'm looking forward to a good game. The Tigers, a 16th seed, taking on the heavily favored Kansas Jayhawks, a number one seed. Anything can happen, and, and you know, I've been following the team this year. Uh, got, some, got some players with heart, and, you know, like you said, with March Madness, you never know what's going to happen. Jayhawk fans are telling us they expect to make a deep tournament run. Let's get that dub. And they have history on their side, with 16 seed teams only beating out those number one seeded teams once out of 144 matchups. Win or lose, though, TSU fans are looking at the positives. Hopefully we can get some more funding and get better recruits and everything. You know, everybody want to go to, not everybody, but a lot of people want to go to HBCUs now, so hopefully we'll get better recruits. And again, anything can happen during March Madness. That game going back and forth right now. TSU fans, as we mentioned, holding out. Hope we are too. We'll be covering this and have more on tonight's outcome later on, uh, including tomorrow morning at KPRC's newscast. We're live right now in Fort Worth. Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.